Five fish fingers on a plate. One, two, three, four, five. Five bars on a five bar gate. One, two, three, four, five. I'm five. Ooh, I feel so alive. alive. You know that you've arrived when you're with number five. I'm number five. And I hope you understand. Whenever you need help, I'll be there to lend a hand. Now the band is all together. The rest can join, join the queue. Doing flips. One, two, three, four, five. High 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 five. To the side, up above, down low, too slow. This little block is full of tricks. It's got six faces, one to six. It's called a die. It's called a dice. Dice or die, both names are nice. What's it for? Let me explain. Want to know more? Let's play a game. And this game goes like this. When you see a number, make the shape. One. One spot on the dice. Make the shape. One. One, two, two spots on the dice. Make the shape. Two. One, two, three. Three spots on the dice. Make the shape. Three. One, two, three, four. Four spots on the dice. Make the shape. Four. It's a square. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five spots on the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two is made of two blocks. I'll always be your friend. Three will entertain you. On that you can depend. I'm two ones. And I'm three ones. And I'm ten ones, which means I'm one ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four is made of four blocks. I love to be a square. Five is made of five blocks. High five there and there. I'm four ones. And I'm five ones. And I'm ten ones, which means I'm one ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, why have you got that round thing next to your one? It's a zero. I need my zero hovering in space. What a great game of hide and sheep. But now it's time for sheep to sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sheep ready for sleep. Or maybe not. There's always time for one more game. Let's roll. Three. Okay, sheep, listen to me. I want you all in groups of three. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Well done, sheep. It's clear to see. Six is the same as three plus three. <laughs> Let's roll. A two. Okay, sheep, here's what to do. Arrange yourselves in groups of two. <laughs> One, two. One, two. One, two. Nine equals three. Plus three. Plus three. We three are the, the three threes. threes. So that's how he did it. I shall open the jar by firing into it from a cannon. No, I shall dive from up high and split the lid in three. No, I will fearlessly jump over the jar on my tricycle, causing it to open with sheer amazement. Oh dear.
I'm so excited to be here. But where is he? And who am I? <gasps> Red! That's who I am! I am Red! 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 <laughs> now, where am I? Hmm, not much to see around here. <gasps> Little crab? Oh! <laughs> now you're red! Red like me! <laughs> no! Who am I? Green fingers? Green thumbs? I'm green! Naturally! <gasps> oh. Hello, little shoot! Nice to meet you! I'm green! <gasps> Whoa! Look what I did! <laughs> I colored you green! <gasps> what else can I color? Can the ground be green? Oh, yes! <laughs> it's green grass! Oh, great! And something tells me the leaves on a tree should be green, too! <laughs> oh! Late! Late! I'm going to be late! Hello, Elle. What are you doing? I promised three tired letters I would sing them a lullaby when the sun goes down. But look! I can sing! Stop! Ah, don't be upset, I. Ah! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! This is different! I like it! Look, we haven't got time to wait! What happens if we do this? Mmm! Hey! Snail! This is painfully slow. A. Sail. Look. Hey, look, G. Goodness. What's that? It's a rope! In incredible! I love skipping! I'm so incredible, I am I! I'm so important, I, 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 I... I, I, I. My go! I'll take that! I! I, I, I... I. Did I hear my name? Did someone say I? I! I! Let's jump high! I, 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 I! Only I can say I! I! Once upon a time, there was a pretty princess called Elle. Look at me! I'm so lovely! Everyone likes me. But not everyone liked Elle. One person was particularly jealous of the pretty princess. A wicked old witch. <laughs> Hello, it is I. I said a wicked old witch. <laughs> In need of some help. <gasps> ah. G. Hag. <laughs> Boo! Oh. There's that impossibly young and incredibly lovely Elle. I must get rid of her. Boo! 
On oh. this wheel, I cast a spell to rid me of that beastly L. May she prick her finger, shed a tear, then fall asleep for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> A shoe like a train needs a track, like a duck needs a ack. Ack. I need you like a king needs a in. Ah, ah, ah. I am a. I am T. Look at that! Lie down your head upon the sand. That's it. Let the sun hold you. La 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 la. I knew was something full of wonder. La 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 la. Thunder. Oh, Pearl. Just give me five more minutes and we can play, okay? I really want to finish writing this song. La la la. The sun is rising. Oh, hey! Give it back! <laughs> oh. It's not a game! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pearl! Oh. <laughs> Head upon the sand. Let the sun do 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 in his hands. Millie, uh, can we just <laughs> relax and listen to the song of the sea for a bit? Oh, great. Another singer. Just what I need. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm Murma, by the way. Just call my name by a puddle and I'll be there in a splash. <laughs> And this cheeky one is my pet pearl. Hey, Mama, I'm Millie, and this is Lou. Yeah, hi. Is this yours too? Yeah, I was trying to write down words for a new song, but Pearl wants to play all day. <laughs> my home is under the ocean. Everyone there always in motion. Oh, nice words. Thank you. Let's sing it, Lou. La 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 ocean. Da 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 lotion. Whoa, a rainbow. That means she's happy. Wow. I'm looking forward to hearing the finished song. If only. I've been trying to finish it for ages. But it's impossible to do that and look after Pearl. I've got a brilliant idea. I'm just saying, I don't think looking after Pearl was a good idea. <laughs> One moment she is happy, next she's running wild. <laughs> oh, Lou. She's so cute and fun, and we get to help Mama out. Oh, give! 
<sighs> Let's check the big book of forest folk. Ooh. Maybe it can help. Any pictures? Um, well, here's Murmur. Murmur be the bearer of bad weather. When she's about, so are storms. But nothing about Pearl here. Oh, wait, here she is. Well, that doesn't look good. Ugh, your granny and her book. Pearl only makes rainbows. Ah! <laughs> this song Murmur's writing better be good. When we dance with the whales, whales rhymes with rails, snails, uh, fingernails. So, I thought the way forward is a precise plan for keeping a pet pearl. Here, you can see time for meals, sports, playing, sleeping. Also, I've added this handy illustrated chart of healthy snacks. Minnie? You like cuppy whip cakes? Uh -huh. <laughs> Cupcakes? Before lunch? Why not, Lou? It keeps her happy. Don't worry, Pearly Whirly. <laughs> what about some fun music? Whoa! Way <laughs> too loud! <laughs> According to my schedule, it's nap time. Huh? But she loves music, Lou. It's quiet time. Music. Quiet. Music. Quiet. Music. Quiet. Quiet time. Uh-oh. Wow, that's a very big cloud. Great. So, the book was right. We'd better keep her happy then. Another cupcake. Let's have as much fun as we can. Uh-huh. Ah. What could possibly go wrong? Pearl has so much energy. I wish I did. I know. Let's take it in turns. I'll take her outside for a bit and you can have a little rest. Thanks, Minnie. Ah. <laughs> I know a good game we can play. Oh, I okay. just have to find something first. Hmm. No. Oh, oh. I forgot we had that. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Fetch this. Pearl? No! Pearl is gone! What? Pearl! Pearl! Where are you? Pearl? 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 Oh, no. <laughs> She's not in the tent. She's not in the garden either. Where is she? <gasps> in, in the, the forest! forest. Look, Lou. Puddles. Pearl must be really upset. Her cloud has rained everywhere. Let's follow the trail. We'll never find her. Yes, we will. Look. She's over there. Let's go. What? Huh? Ah, typical. Oh, no. How are we going to find her now? <laughs> and then, if I do this... Nom, 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 nom. <gasps> I think it's time we told Mama. Oh, OK. She'll be so upset with us. One, two, three. Mama! Mama! Ah! Oh, hey. Thanks so much for looking after Pearl. I just finished the song. 
How's it going? I hope she wasn't too much trouble. Uh... Well, uh... Pa was playing and was super cute, and then I turned around and she was gone. Oh, Mama, we lost her. Oh, cheeky Pearl. She won't be far. We'll sort it out. <gasps> we can try singing my new song together, huh? Of course. Pa loves music. And hopefully she will hear us from the hill. My home is under the ocean. Come on, Lou. Join in. Uh... Okay. My home is under the ocean. Everyone there is always in motion. When we dance with the waves, we leap out the waves. See you later, baby. With all the earth, my home is under the ocean. Everyone there is always in motion. When we dance with the waves, we leap out with only your tails. Hooray! The song worked! <laughs> well done, us! What a team! <sighs> All right, let's get you home, cheeky one. <laughs> Are you coming? Just jump in the puddle. Yes! Coming! Wait, you know that cats don't like the water. <laughs> oh, there we go. Tired little pearl after a busy day. Mama is a great songwriter. And it turns out it's the cute little pearl who brings floods when she's upset. But luckily, she mostly brings rainbows. Oh, I remember that. Cheeky pearl, not a good day. <laughs> Here we go. That's much better. Thanks, Millie. A relaxing moment. At last. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it's always fun when Pearl's around. So, can you look after her tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> it was very dark, except for one light that was pointing straight at her. In the spotlight! exclaimed Olive. She was on stage in a huge theatre. She was wearing a frilly collar and very, very pointy shoes. She could hear someone crying and headed off to investigate. Backstage was dark. She couldn't see anyone anywhere. She noticed the sobbing was coming from under a large fairy cushion in the corner. Olive tried to lift up the cushion, but the cushion moved and cried, Ouch! The cushion stood up, and Olive saw that it had arms and legs. It wasn't a cushion at all. It was actually a big brown bear. Oh, sorry, said Olive. Don't worry. Happens all the time. I'm Sir Derek Jacobin. I'm Olive. Pleased to meet you. But why are you crying? It's the opening night of the play. The actress I'm performing with hasn't arrived. I'm scared I'll forget my lines. Oh, dear. Well... I could be the actress, but I don't know the lines either. This is a disaster. What are we going to do, lovey? Olive saw that there was a big book sitting on a table next to a bottle of glue. Is that the play we're performing in? That's the one, Eleventh Night by William Shakespeare. And what do you use the glue for? I use it to stick this false beard on for the play. A script. Some glue? I think I may have an idea. With Sir Derek's help, Olive tore out all the pages from the script and stuck them everywhere. On the curtains, on the props, even on the stage itself. Oh, I see. Now we don't have to remember our lines. We can just read them. Bravo, lovey. As Derek stuck on his false beard, Olive put on the final piece of her costume, a huge feathery hat. Derek gave her one last piece of advice. Break a leg, lovey. <coughs> Olive looked confused. It's what we say in the theatre. It means good luck. 
And with that, the curtain went up and the play began. Olive and Derek moved around the stage, reading the lines and acting out the play. Everything was going brilliantly until one of the big feathers on Olive's hat fell in front of her eyes. She couldn't wow. see where she was going. One of her long shoes caught on a page that she had glued to the stage. Olive fell off the stage and into the audience. But the audience caught Olive and lifted her up high above their heads. She crowd surfed all the way around the theatre before eventually landing back on the stage. And with that, the play was over. The audience went wild, clapping and cheering. This play is a huge success. Boom, Sir Derek. I have my beautiful leading lady to thank for that. He leaned over and gave Olive a kiss on her beak. Oh, I say. I didn't break a leg. But I've got a few bruises from falling off the stage. <laughs> they both laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Actually, I've been performing in a spectacular play. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. It was a very dusty, hot place, with tumbleweed rolling past. Okay. Olive was on a cowboy ranch in the wild west of America. She was wearing a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. All of a sudden, she heard stamping feet and a loud wail. <laughs> A little goat was riding along on the back of a huge bull. He was getting bumped about all over the place. Help! Help! The bull screeched to a halt, sending the poor goat somersaulting through the air. He landed at Olive's feet with a thump. Oh, hey. are you OK? Asked Olive. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, ma'am. Howdy, I'm Billy the Kid. What name do you go by? I'm Olive. Pleased to meet you, Billy. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I just can't get these darn bulls into the barn. My daddy's gone to town and left me in charge of the ranch. He'll be real proud of me if I get him inside before sundown. I'd be glad to help. What have you tried so far? Well, I've tried lassoing them. <laughs> I've tried shouting at them. Move your big behind right now. And I've tried poking them. Hmm. Maybe I can think of something. Olive looked about and saw Billy's lasso lying on the ground. She also spotted a tall stack of hay bales inside the barn. She glanced back at the bulls and saw that they were grazing on clumps of hay. A lasso? Some bales of hay? I think I may have an idea. With Billy the Kid's help, Olive tied a bale of hay around herself using his lasso. Then she stood in front of the barn doors. Yoo-hoo! Bulls tasty hay! The bulls looked up and began to trot towards Olive. It's working! They're trotting towards the barn! The bulls started munching on Olive's mm. bale of hay. Unfortunately, Olive was very ticklish. Billy looked at Olive and was worried. Stop it! Stop it! Cried Billy. Stop it, bulls, please! Immediately, the bulls stopped munching and looked up at Billy the Kid. Why, sure thing, kid, said one of the bulls. I think I've got it! Excuse me, bulls. I know you'd make Billy here very happy if you all went inside the barn. Please! Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Said Billy, catching on. Well, of course we will. We bulls love politeness. You should have just asked nicely, saying please, the first place, Billy. Billy and Olive led all the bulls into the barn. Oh, why, thank you very much. See you in the morning, fellas. Just as the sun was setting, Billy's dad arrived home from town. Howdy, partners, said Billy's dad. Cheapest, you've done a fine job today, son. Any trouble getting those bulls into that there barn? Well, just a little bit, said Billy with a smile. But we're just pleased to get the job done, said Olive. <laughs> they all laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. 
Oh, typical Olive. Daydreaming again. Said her mum. Okay. Actually, I've been a cowgirl in the Wild West. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear. Said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> <laughs>